What up, Young Jets here? Welcome back to Heavy Rain Episode 2. Last time, we lost our house. Hey, hey, take it easy. You're gonna knock me over. Damn, we fell off. Our son? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. God. And we might have lost our wife, but anyways, without further ado, let's jump right in. Ah, oh, there you are, son. Ready to go to bed? Yeah. Alright, I'll go with you. Oh, did he seriously draw that? Damn. I leave the window closed. Good night, son. Good night, Sean. My teddy. I haven't got my teddy, Dad. Oh, you yeah. Must have left it somewhere in the house. No, I know where it's at. idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please. I can't sleep without him. I got it. I got it. All right. I'll have a look around and see if I can find it, okay? I remember where I left it. On top of the dryer. There it is. I knew it. So lonely in this house, just him and the kid. Probably did leave him. Damn. Here you go, son. Thanks, Dad. Good night, Sean. Night. Dad? Yes? Why do you look so sad? Um, because your brother died two years ago, and I just saw the picture you drew. To get back to the way things were. Any more questions, son? No, Dad. What happened to Jason wasn't your fault. I mean, night, Sean. It, it was Jason's fault because he decided to leave when I was paying. So I know it wasn't my fault, son. Don't worry. Good night. That's enough reminiscing. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, shit. Come on, take some medicine or some shit. Damn. He's gonna hallucinate or what? Chill. Don't tell me. Oh, I thought it was about to see a sun or something. Damn. The hell, where the hell am I? Wasn't I just in the house? The hell? Damn, he's going crazy. Where the hell am I? Carnaby Corner North.
Good father. Who's this guy? Looks like a cop. The hell? Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the <laughs> left, at the end of the corridor. So he made him talk just for five bucks. Damn. He probably would have even talked for a dollar. Wait, what did he say? Third? Oh shit, I don't even know what he said. I think this one? This way. No, I think he said third door on the left. Yeah, I think this one. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Hey. Right. Wait. Uh -huh. Can't do that shit. It's fifty bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. No, but he looks like a cop, though. The hell? Put your money on the table. You got How exactly ten minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? I'm trying to. Okay, put the money. No, God damn it. Okay, so you should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Nah, she knows. Convinced. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? Uh, wait, what the hell? I can't see shit. Uh... I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I didn't my son died. I just idea what I'm going through, Mr. Well, not Shelby. his, but that other guy. I forgot his name. Trick. Uh, bye. I bought ten minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son? Is that it? Oh, shit. I fucked up. You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Ah. Get the fuck out! I'm sorry. Can I can I make her feel better or something? Yeah, let's talk to her. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Yeah, whatever. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. I apologize, by the way. No, let's check the fridge. No, I guess we can't. Oh, damn, he's taller than the fridge? Shit. Small ass fridge. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <coughs> what the hell's going on? Oh, shit. Uh, 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 shit. What am I doing? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, R1. R1.
Damn. Lauren. <sighs> Lauren, open up, baby. It's me. Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dell. Whatever. Hey, leave it the fuck alone. Hey, leave it the fuck alone. Open it. Open it. What the hell's wrong with you? What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. The hell's wrong? Kick the door. Kick the door open. You again? Fuck that guy. Yeah. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you gonna do, son? Yeah, do it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, fuck. I fucked up. Tango! Ah, oh, shit. Uh, oh my god, these buttons, man. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. What the hell? Um, wait, what? Okay. I am a cop. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Uh, oh, no, be careful. Yes, yeah. Good job. Oh shit, oh shit, square! Dro oh no! Fuck, oh! Fuck you, asshole! Mm. Fuck you! Get prepped, bitch! Oh, I fucked up again. God damn, those are hard. Why isn't she helping? Yes! Yeah! Good job! Come on, oh! Come on, oh! Oh, yeah, knock him out! Knock him out! Yes! 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 I'll see you again, asshole. Fuck you. Bitch. Are you alright? Oh, yeah, thank you for just standing there. Him, I guess. Who is he? An ex client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for just standing there, by the way. Oh. Damn, I could have died. Shit. Oh, oh thank God. But who am I now? Am I the father? Oh, this is like a cop, probably. I honestly forgot how the father looks, so I kind of don't know if this is him. No, I doubt it. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. All right. So a different guy. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Thanks, man. Hmm. The hell? 
Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Oh, that's weird. Let me leave them on because I probably need to record this. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Over there? Okay. Thanks. The hell is this? Oh, oh. Footprints. Harry comment, sample of no interest. Comes one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Okay. I'm looking for uh, no, he's right there. Blake. Yeah, he's right there. Thanks. All right, Blake. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? Yeah. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Uh. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. It kind of sucks that it moves in a circle because it's hard to tell. Sake. Um Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's that's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Honey. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood. I'd be surprised if anybody saw hmm. anything. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. All right. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. <coughs> hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. All right. Well, let's see what we can find. What's this? Okay. to the investigation. Hmm. Harry Connor, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. 
Alright. Guess I can't go that way. Oh, wait, there's something over here. Hmm. A dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Not yet. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Wow. Ah, probably over here. I think I already checked this. Okay, so where'd I go now? Hmm. Watch out with the train. Footprints. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Okay. Harry, come in. Traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. It was probably poison. Ah, okay. Harry, come in. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line. Okay. Oh shit, I fucked up. So am I supposed to hold even circle? Okay, triangle. Okay, R1. L1. X. Square. Okay. Square. X. Okay, circle. Triangle. R2 L2 R1 L1 Got it Ah, okay There's a good chance that they're the killers. Yeah, be careful, he might be nearby. Wait, oh, yeah. this way? No, this way. Very common. Tire tracks on the side of the boat behind the railroad line. Or maybe the killer's car. Yeah, but we should get some backup or something, at least, just in case. Shit. Sure. <laughs> hmm. I'm guessing this way?
I mean, I can't just go to the street. I guess I gotta go let them know or something. Alright, let's go down. Oh shit. Ah, uh, dumbass. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Okay, down. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. Damn. Oh, there might be a train. Shit, be careful. Right, let's look. Let's let the lieutenant know. Where is he though? Did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden, FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Yeah, where's he at? Ah, oh, there he is. I think. Yeah. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. Alright, let's go. Should be good. I think we found everything. Cause I mean you couldn't go nowhere else. I mean I don't think so. Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. No, wait, wait, wait. I think I could check some more. I think I've seen all there is to see. No, I don't think we did. Uh... A small origami figure in the right hand. Wait, is that the father? Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Ah, uh, it can't be. Damn, I hope not. Shit. That'd be messed up if it was. Nah, I don't think so. Who would kill me? Alright, now we're good, I think. Alright, cool. Now let's get out of here. Seatbelt? Huh. Ah. Whatever. Alright. Just because he's a cop, he can do whatever he wants.
Hmm. That. Many sites. And it looks like a bat, but it looks like a bat. Um, a wolf. No, wait. A fox? A fox. Crab? Yeah, crab. A crab. What is that? Death. 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 Oh, wait. Is that the father? Yeah, he's still alive. No, oh, thank God. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. Oh, is this after I know his Sunday? It's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. Yeah, my it's son was fault. Jason is dead. No, it's not. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. Well, I mean, kind of. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He's pretty good. He's a very Distant. solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. Yeah, he is just... He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? What do I feel? I stopped living at the same time oh, Jason shit. did. I meant to put depressed. When that car ran into us. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Have there been any cases of split personality developing after concussion? Like people doing things but having no memory of what they've done. Like somebody else had been doing them. Damn. We know I that in that certain it... cases a oh. violent shock to the brain can cause serious psychological disturbances, like schizophrenia, for example. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. Like I was saying, I hate that it moves together, the letters. You can't really, like, I get confused. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Eh. Stay strong, man. You'll get over it. You still got a son to look after. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. The hell's wrong with her? I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we will really pull it together, okay? Do you want to eat something? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Nah, he's probably sad because his brother died and all that. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! Alright, we're getting somewhere. Come on, son. Let's play. Come on, Dad. Make me fly. <laughs> Oh, 
We're bonding. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa, sorry son. Whoa. Alright, alright. He's laughing, he's smiling. Oh, at least he's smiling. Oh. That was quick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You want to keep playing? No? Okay. Well, let me go look around. Oh, swing, son. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Alright, cool. Oh, well, come on. Oh, sorry. Whoa. Oh, sorry. You're not pushing dead. That was an accident, I'm sorry. Didn't expect that. Yeah. At least he gets a smile. See, he does have something to live for. <laughs> He's having fun. Alright. Cool. Alright, son. Let's look for something else to do. Oh, over here. I guess not. Hmm. I like a packet of Strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. There you go. And yeah, that was only a dollar? Are you serious? Oh, where's my son at? Oh, there he is. I think. Yeah. Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. Oh, sorry. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. like rain's coming I think we better go well okay. I mean at least he was at least he appreciated it you know sometimes I remember before I mean when Jason was still here yeah sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before me too Sean me too well he's still in your heart Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. All right, cool. One, please. That's a dollar. There you go, son. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh no. Shit. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Damn, I didn't expect that. Damn. The hell, my son? I left him up there. Shit. Fuck, what? Where could he be? Wait, let's check over here. Fucking shit, dude. How the hell? Is he home? Upstairs, check upstairs. Now he would have came out if he would have heard you though. Damn, fuck. No, no, check the back. Oh, shit. Fuck. Dude, where the sun go? Oh, damn. Don't tell me. Oh, did they kidnap him? Stop, man. Damn, he's missing. Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. Yeah, that's cool. The hell? It's crazy. Did he seriously materialize this shit? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> when he's bored, he's just doing that. Uh, dripping out. Let's do it again. Yeah. He doesn't really look like he's having fun at all. Ah, that's enough. Probably tripping people out right now. Finally, shit. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. Oh, cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. What's up, Captain? Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. 
I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, now it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well. All right. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds right. of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves oh, power in origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. Uh, I keep fucking it up. No. Of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress. And fast. The press want a perpetrator. And we're gonna have to serve him up that, on us. I can't do it. It's hard. I uh, hope you're better at profiling than at tying knots. Ah, uh, screw you. Oh, forget it. I'll manage. Oh, go well, see Charlie and Jill. Whatever you do. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. Yeah, It'll yeah. Give you an idea of the political climate. Get out of here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Hurry up. Get out of here. Alright uh, guys, I'm in the gameplay here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.